Hi everyone and welcome back. It's Susan here. Um, so I'm just going to do my check-in for this week. Uh, my stats to begin with. Uh, I was a lot happier with this week than I was with last week. and I had my place saved and now it's gone. Um, so last week, if you recall, I was up and down and up and down. So um, this week, well, last week when I talked to you last, uh, I was at 159.6. Um, with, a, with an average loss of um, half a pound a day, which is good, but um, Friday, November 2nd, uh, I was up by 0.6 pounds at 160.2. Um, I ate Miracle Noodles after 9.30 p.m. on Thursday night, so uh, that was probably a big mistake. Uh, Saturday, November 3rd, I was in hospital, but I did take my scale with me and uh, my own food. Uh, I just couldn't have um, have an injection. Um, I was up 1.2 pounds. Now, I did use, my daughter um, brought me some hand lotion, and my hands were really dry, plus she, I kind of wanted her to see me using what she brought me, so I used hand lotion. Um, so that was probably a big part of it and maybe also the stress of being in hospital and that kind of thing. Um, so I just did an apple day that day. Um, I had brought had lots of apples with me to the hospital, so I wasn't going to eat hospital food, so that was fine. Uh, Sunday, November 4th, I was down 2.4 pounds to 159, so I was very happy to see that. certainly made up for the plus 1.2 and the plus 0.6 before. Monday, November 5th, um, I was down 1 pound to 158.0. Uh, Tuesday, November 6th, uh, I was up 0.6 pounds. Um, I don't know why. Um, didn't do anything that was not allowed. So um, Wednesday, November 7th, I was down 1.4 to 157.2. So uh, that certainly made up for, again, any small gains that I had. Uh, and today, I was down one pound to 156.2. So my pounds lost in week three uh, was 3.4 pounds. Uh, my total net loss is 10.8 pounds, and my average loss per day is 1.9 pounds. Now for measurements, um, my overbust uh, down 0.5 for a total of 2.5. Underbust, 32. No change there. But uh, since my beginning, since my first day, I'm down 3 inches. Waist, 33, which is down uh, half an inch. And a total, since I started, down 2.5 inches. My hips are at 41.5, which is down 1.5 for a total of down 3. Left thigh stayed the same. But uh, since beginning, I have lost 1 inch. Right thigh, I lost half an inch, so the right thigh is down two inches. Uh, so my inches lost in week three were three inches. My total inches lost are 14. So to recap, my pounds lost so far have been 10.8, and my inches 14. And um, my average loss, weight loss per day is 1.9 pounds. So I'm very happy with how things are progressing. So I've made some notes for myself, just so I, which is why I'm wearing my glasses. Um, okay, starting off, uh, I don't know if I had said so in my introductory, but I am um, a chartered herbalist, so that kind of helps in some ways, um, as well as being a, a makeup artist and skincare specialist. But starting off your morning with a cup of yerba mate tea on an empty stomach within half an hour of getting up. Um, it does help your body metabolize more fat throughout the day. Another fat metabolizing powerhouse is white tea. Uh, the active ingredient in white tea is EGCG, and it stimulates your fat cells, particularly on the belly, to stop growing and storing fat. And it also stimulates your body, again, particularly in your belly, uh, to release fat um, that it's got stored there. And all you need is two cups of white tea a day, and you can get white tea that has like other herbs in it to flavor it, that kind of thing. Uh, so after my morning cup of yerba mate, I have half a grapefruit for breakfast every day um, in this past week. 
grapefruit, particularly the white pith, the white part that stuck to it, which is full of the, all the, that's where all the bioflavonoids are. Um, that part that sticks to the actual pink or white, whatever, I like pink grapefruit. Anyways, grapefruit, especially if you leave on some of that pith, um, stimulates digestion, so that's good uh, as well. Um, I also make all my food spicy, um, so I use a lot of hot chili flakes, uh, jalapeno flakes, Moroccan harissa spice, cumin, coriander, and that kind of thing, because hot spices do help turbocharge your metabolism. So I've got some spices to show you. All of these are sugar and fat free. This is one of my favorites for, for my fish, is the salt, it's, this, it's by the Silk Road Spice Merchant, and it's the salt water chili lime seasoning. And it is absolutely delicious and has a little kick, obviously. I also like this one. Uh, this is by the Cape Herb and Spice Company. And it's a curry seasoning with 14 spices. And again, it's perfectly safe. And it even comes with its own little grinder. Uh, another one I really like for fish is uh, the Cape Herb and Spice Company Organic Fish Seasoning. Again, it comes with its own grinder. And Herbamare, which can be found pretty much anywhere, is sugar-free. This one is the Provencal. I like that on vegetables. This one's Ocean. I like that, obviously, on fish. And this one I use a lot is the Spicy Herbamare. And it's really good for everything. So, yeah. Um, herbal teas um, are a great and very tasty way to get some of your fluids in for the day. I prefer loose leaf teas because they're more flavorful and you can use them at least two times and many times three. Um, some herbs also have great health benefits like giving you energy, boosting metabolism, improving mood, helping you sleep, relieving constipation, goes on and on. Um, I don't know about everybody, but I do find I get constipated on the HCG protocol. Uh, so I drink uh, the traditional medicinals smooth move tea twice a week and uh, before bed. And that just helps for the next few days to keep me going. Um, for water, I have a SIG bottle right here. And I measured it and it holds four 8-ounce glasses of measuring cups of water. Um, and so what I've done here is I just stick elastic so as you can see I've already had one of these bottles and you know I'll move this down when I finished another another bottle full of that um, so when I finish the bottle an elastic moves down to the bottom and that way I know I'm getting in a full 16 cups of water each day if I drink two full ones of that and in addition I drink herb tea throughout the day um, the thing to remember is that for every ounce of caffeine, or usually you won't drink an ounce, so I'll say for every cup of caffe caffeinated beverage you drink, you do need to drink an extra cup, the same amount of water, since caffeine is a diuretic. So then you're not getting the hydration that you need if you drink a lot of caffeine. So I make sure to drink an extra three cups of water or non-caffeinated tea a day to replace what I've lost by drinking two cups of yerba mate and one cup of coffee uh, each day. Um, some of the teas that I really like, these are from Teavana. Uh, this one is the Java Mate. And that's a great yerba mate for in the morning. It has some black, the Sam Black tea in it, roasted mate tea, uh, cocoa bits, but you know, I mean they're cocoa nibs, so they're not um, they don't have any sugar in them, and plus you're, it's just a little flavor, but it's not really, um, it's, you're not getting any, and vanilla bits. Um, so it's not got sugar in it. Uh, this one I like, it's a, it's a rooibos tea, and it's a opus rouge, and rooibos is full of antioxidants, very good for you, no caffeine, um, and, and can be quite calming, and this one has dried grapes, hibiscus flowers, green rooibos, uh, grapes, grape slices, citrus peel, plum pieces, um, flavoring, cherry, uh, currant, red currant, vanilla, orange, black currant, blackberry, 
red currant, uh, cherry, Morello cherry, and Morello cherry are actually very good for helping you sleep. They do contain a, just the right amount of melatonin. Um, stevia leaves, which of course make it sweet for you without being not on protocol, and then vanilla pieces. So that's a nice one for something fruity. Um, I really like this one too. It's another uh, rooibos, and it's uh, the Dulce, um, Dulce Chai. And um, the Dulce is really good. It's also known as holy basil. It's very good for calming you, for relieving stress, um, bringing down cortisol levels, uh, which is really helpful, again, for belly fat. Uh, if your cortisol levels or if your adrenals are putting out a lot of cortisol, um, belly fat accumulates. So this is red rooibos, which is actually better and higher in antioxidants than the green. Uh, Tulsi herb, cinnamon, coconut, ginger, cardamom, coconut, again, that's roasted this time. Uh, cinnamon sticks, um, pink pepper, cloves, rose blossom leaves, and black pepper. So that's, and it's, the spices are really nice and warming, so it's great because um, I'd show you outside, but... It's snowing, like we've had about, yay, that much snow today, this morning, and it's still continuing. Uh, another one I really like is the Samurai Chai Mate. Uh, this one's got green mate tea, green rooibos, cinnamon, pineapple pieces, um, papaya pieces, orange peel, lemongrass, um, anise seed, coriander, cardamom, and cornflower almond flakes and cornflower blossoms. Uh, I already showed you that one. And then I've got some that are bottled here. This one I've just gotten a different tin, but it's labeled sleep because it is the uh, sleep well tea. And this one has, again, rooibos, tulsi, melissa, lemon verbena, anise, hops, fennel, peppermint, licorice root. So that one's really nice. Um, then I've got, um, by David's Tea, Lime Bang, um, and this one, uh, Feisty Gunpowder Green Tea, blended with lime peel, apples, pineapple, and natural fruit essence. It's delicious, hot or cold. Um, and then I've got this one that I'm using right now is the AM Mate. I really like this one. It smells so good. Um, Called my, it's called my morning mate. Sorry, it's all crumpled. Um, and I won't go into the ingredients. And then there's just a calming a tea that's just calming that I usually have later in the afternoon to wind me down. And, uh, oh my gosh, that smells good. And then for, because it's so cold, I do like chai teas. This one is a rooibos masala chai. And this one is a white tea chai. Um, some other things I really like to add to my water um, is this Santa Cruz um, organic lemon juice. And that's all it is, is lemon juice. Real lemon has some other stuff in it. And this doesn't. So I just add a little bit of that to my water bottle along with some lemon stevia. And usually about six drops of lemon and four drops of vanilla stevia. And um, that's, really, that's really nice. Makes the water taste good. Something else I noticed, I do best when I stick to Dr. Simeon's original protocol. Um, I wanted to add Miracle Noodles to my diet, but it really did stall my progress. Uh, I know that they're just konjac root fiber, which is great. Um, no calories, fat, carbs, or anything. But every time I've eaten them, I've either gained weight or lost little to no weight um, for the next few days. So I tried eating them every other day and at lunchtime so that um, so that it wasn't half, so that you know I had time to get rid of them, same result. Um, and then I deviated and ate a pear one day, same thing, weight gain the next. So for me, sticking to Dr. Simeon's protocol to the letter is the best way for me to optimize my weight loss. Um, something I've started adding just this week is getting back to strength training, which is something I love. I wanna be sure to conserve as much lean muscle mass as possible. So doing a half hour of weight training a day will ensure I continue to build muscle. Uh, while well, the HCG burns off fat. So also lean muscle takes your body a lot of energy to sustain. So by building muscle, you burn calories even when you're resting. So that's my update. Um, yeah, so I'll see you later. And I uh, hope you're having a great day. I hope I don't get snowed in. I'm trying to keep warm. 
Um, okay, bye.